put down Trevor? How are we gonna do this? I got I gotta take out these guys first. I don't even know where to shoot. If you would like to win an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, click the link in the description below to my giveaway. It takes just a few seconds and it's absolutely free. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and welcome back to episode 2 in this mini-series. Now, I absolutely love filming this, and what we're basically doing is going through each death scene at the final mission for each character in GTA 5, the three missions, and we're basically modifying the set and the scene to see if we can save the characters. So, for example, when Michael is being dropped from the tower, we put containers underneath him and also a bunch of water underneath him to see what would happen to see if we could save him. And as requested, you guys absolutely loved that previous episode so what we're gonna do is do this on Trevor and loads of you guys were suggesting some awesome things including deleting the actual propane tank which Trevor crashes into so we're gonna do some awesome things to the death scene which puts down Trevor and we're gonna see if we can save him and I'm honestly really interested about this because as many of you guys were telling me throwing some awesome ideas at me they do actually make loads and loads of sense so I think we're gonna get a pretty good episode out of this so if you guys do enjoy it please don't leave without smashing that thumbs up button it would be greatly appreciated and uh, let's see if we can save Trevor so did Franklin just leave his gun in the air or something that was really weird I saw something just stay in the air anyway Trevor's on a roll so we're gonna go and follow Trevor and yeah like I said we're just gonna see if we can save him so if you guys have any awesome ideas which we don't do in this episode comment them in the comments section below because the ideas you guys have been throwing at this series is honestly absolutely crazy and I want to see if it is possible to save Trevor in the final in the final mission and if not save him I want to see exactly what does happen because we're gonna do some interesting things to this uh, final death scene and oh boy my driving is not on point with Trevor it really isn't guys I'm a terrible driver and Trevor is the most reckless driver in this mission now I'm not too sure about you guys but this isn't actually my favorite kind of ending not because Trevor's involved or anything like that it's just the way it's been kind of laid out and stuff I really enjoy the one with Michael because we get to drop him and it's really emotional and stuff the one I get with Trevor I really don't feel the connection and stuff so if you guys d disagree with that opinion if you guys have any favorite specific ending in GTA 5 let me know in the comments below and I I guess we'll try and figure out exactly which ending you guys prefer but oh Trevor's getting a bit more reckless here and just taking out a few cars oh my gosh okay so I already have some pretty interesting ideas and I've done this twice before twice before we started recording because I just wanted to get my bearings on exactly what I needed to do and where I needed to do it and I still didn't get my bearings on driving I'm a terrible driver in GTA now this is kind of like the moments where we need to figure out what we need to do with our mod menu because as you can see we're on a phone call with Michael so this is what we're going to do we have to go into our time options and we have to slow the time down to 0 0.01 and then uh wait this is a tiny bit too early a tiny tiny bit too early let's go back into this speed up time to about 1 1.1 .1. we did it a tad too early okay now we've got to go back down to 1 all right, awesome. So now all we got to do is figure out where Trevor goes. So I believe he goes all the way around here. And then Michael crashes into him. Somewhere. Here, this is it. This is the tanker where Michael crashes into. So it looks like, unfortunately, you can't take out the tanker. Which is kind of unfortunate. But what we're going to do is spawn in something. So what can we get? Let's spawn in. Let's do cars. If we just get a car... Uh, let's do emergency. I'm gonna get tanks. Fire truck. Okay, let's just do this for the banter. I'm gonna spawn in loads and loads of fire trucks exactly where Trevor needs to crash into. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh my days, this is actually gonna be really interesting. I'm also just gonna put, for the banter, for the banter guys, we're just gonna put loads and loads of pedestrians, okay? So let's just spawn down tons and tons of these guys. Oh my gosh, and I want to see what happens because these are vehicles and pedestrians so they have to make contact with them Sometimes objects don't really make contact with things in cutscenes. These are vehicles and pedestrians So they have to make contact and oh dear We've got to speed up the time a little bit. So to start things off. We're gonna do this We're gonna see here we go. Oh my gosh, you can see the fire engines. They're there. They're in the cutscene. Oh my gosh What? What? No way! It went straight through them. Even the pedestrians. 
This is hilarious. This is actually hilarious. I mean, this is still pretty funny. I'm just so surprised they're just walking through them. What? This is kind of funny. This is kind of creepy at the same time. See, you, you can only hear someone screaming and just loads of random pedestrians just looking in one direction. What? This is so creepy. I have no idea what's going on. What? Put down Trevor. How are we going to do this? How do we do this? There's too many people in front of us. Oh my gosh. I got I got to take out these guys first. I don't even know where to shoot. I don't want to shoot. I'm going to let Michael do this. Here we go. Come on, Mikey. <laughs> what? That's actually insane. That's honestly insane. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That's actually so strange. Oh my days. So, evidently enough, we can't suppress the crash. Trevor will just go straight through any pedestrian, straight through any vehicle. But, but guys, I've got an awesome idea, okay? And we're going to whack out these tsunami. We're going to see if a tsunami can stop this. Because water on fire, not even possible. You can't even shoot in water. Give me just a moment, guys. I'm going to spawn down this tsunami. And I will see you in just a few seconds. Okay, so I've managed to tamper with loads and loads of Tsunami mods, and as you can see, we finally have our Tsunami mods, and we're swimming around, we're floating around, so I'm just gonna jump straight into this mission, and we're gonna see exactly what happens when we kill Trevor underwater, so I'm actually really excited for this, and I absolutely, honestly guys, like working with Tsunami mods is just so fun because so many different things can happen. I honestly have no idea how we're gonna be able to shoot, even set Trevor on fire, in the tsunami, like underwater and stuff, it really doesn't make sense. We're throwing logic out of the window right now. So, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens, but this is absolutely awesome. I love how this cutscene is just playing through, whilst even objects, you can see them in the background, are just floating past him, which is really interesting. Oh my gosh, we're swimming. I can't get in the car. I can't get in the car. What? Oh, we're in, okay, we're in. Oh, we're drowning. We're drowning, we're drowning. We're drowning. We're drowning. We're dead. We're dead. Franklin died. Guys, I'm not even making it up. We spawned up here. And how are we falling this fast? Oh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> we can't move. Our car, it, it's, it just, it's, there's water inside the car. We can't move it. This is so weird. Can we skip? Can we skip now? This is the third time we died. Yes, we can skip. Yes, please. Let's get into the final cutscene. Here we go, boys. What's going to happen? Are we going to be able to save Trevor? We're underwater. How are we even supposed to shoot him? How are we supposed to set him on fire? I guess we're going to find out now. Comment in the comment section below exactly what you think is going to happen. But oh my days. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I honestly have no idea how we're meant to kill him. I, I know, like, Rockstar are going to just do something to the game which will allow us to do it. But it's just so strange how you get into these situations and you think to themselves, how are they going to wriggle out of this? Like, the gasoline is still pouring out of this tank, which you can't delete, by the way. We tried it. We're not swimming. Oh, my gosh. Michael's standing... I just shot at a car. I shot at a car and it, it shot Trevor. That's so weird. Oh my gosh. So Trevor dies. But the explosion was an explosion you would kind of expect to see underwater, I guess. What? That's so weird. I was not expecting that to happen. So I guess to conclude, Rockstar Games are some sneaky people. They managed to hide in a few tricks and stuff. They managed to stick you to the ground so you wouldn't float up to the top. I haven't even got invincibility on and we still haven't drowned as well. 
So they're really, really good with how they play this stuff. But honestly, I thought we were under something. I thought we could delete the gas tank. I thought we could do this underwater and we wouldn't be able to shoot or anything. Like we would just kind of be bobbing there with a knife and stuff. So this is still really interesting. I'm glad we managed to do this. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't leave it out smashing that thumbs up button, especially if you would like me to continue this series as well. There's loads of awesome and interesting things which we might be able to do or prevent or even get going in campaign because of so many awesome things we can do with mods and cutscenes. So yeah, like I said guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What would you like me to do next? What would you guys like to see? And how would you guys like me to do it as well? And of course, if you guys are new here, why not subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more awesome stuff just like this on a daily basis. But guys, my name is Nort and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys next time.